What's up guys, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you the basics of using touchscreen on a Windows 10 PC. So, the most basic thing you can do on a computer is select things, right? So, on a Windows 10 PC, pretty intuitive, if you want to open something, just simply click on it. So, you see here, I've just opened the internet, and I've maximized it, and I just did a simple click, right? What if you wanted to right click on something, but you don't have a mouse? On Windows 10, you simply press and hold on the screen for a second or so until a square populates around your finger, and then you let go. And you see that it's done a right click action. The menu's popped up, but there's something a little bit different about it. The menu's bigger than what it would usually be if you right clicked using a mouse. And that's because Windows 10 knows that you're using touchscreen. So it's made the menu bigger, so you can press and select with your fingers easier than if you were using a mouse. So to recap, a single press, you just tap on it, and a right click is you press and you hold for a second or so until that square populates around your finger. A tip I'd give you when you're using Windows 10 is how to quickly get into your settings. So you swipe in from the right hand side and this is going to pull up your action center. So your action center here has a list of all your most recent notifications from programs and down the bottom you have some very quick settings, things like turning on your Bluetooth, airplane mode, um, your brightness of the screen and to get to it it's simply swiping in from the right hand side. A tip I'll give you here is that don't swipe in on the computer screen, but have your finger just a little bit off so it's on the bezel and swipe in. This way the computer knows that you're wanting to swipe and not select something on the edge of the screen. What if you had multiple programs open? So now I'm going to open the internet, YouTube and Canva. So if I wanted to jump between multiple programs, I could select them down the bottom or if it's easier I can swipe in from the left hand side and this is going to open up my task view. Task view is essentially all the programs you have open. You can add things like new desktops, also easily switch between different programs. I can jump from the web browser, swipe in, go over to Canva, swipe in again, and see everything that's open. From here I can also do things like close, so I can close, for example, YouTube. Cool. Really quite simple, right? And the last tip I want to show you is how to snap two windows side by side. So this is just like you do it if you had a mouse. You grab the window from the top and you can move it around and I'm going to press it against the right hand side wall here and it snapped it to half of the screen. Now Windows has said, hey, what do you want on the other half of the screen? You've got Canva and you've got PowerPoint open. I'm going to select Canva and now you can see that it's snapped it 50-50. Now I've done all of this by using the touch screen. If I want to resize a window, I can grab it and I can move it around. And if I want to maximize it, I can just press on the maximize option. Cool. To recap, to select something, it's a single tap. To do a right click, you want to press and hold for a second until that square populates around your finger. To see your action center, you want to swipe in from the right hand side of the screen. And to see your task view, you want to swipe in from the left hand side of the screen. And it is that simple to use touch screen on Windows 10. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and let me know what else you'd like to see. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.